Hi everyone, I'm Bonnie and I am the owner of Archer and Olive. Archer and Olive is a luxury notebook brand and we're best known for our notebooks with amazing bleed proof paper. And most recently we also launched a line of acrylic paint pens called the Acrylographs. Just a little bit of background on me, I have been working with mixed media for many years now and I just find the best way to kind of get a good overview of the colors that you have available to you is even if, even if it's just something you do for fun, is to create a pen swatch. So during this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite ideas to help you create a pen swatch. This is going to help you better define your monthly themes and ideas. I'll be walking you step by step, um, showing you how I create a swatch design for my bullet journal. Let's get started. By the way, if you're looking for some of the most aesthetic bullet journal themes and some some great ideas, go ahead and subscribe to the Archer and Olive channel because we're going to be sharing awesome tutorials, some hints, some tips, and new videos that get posted every week. So if you don't want to miss out, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you're going to get alert every time we post a new video. So the first thing we're going to do is the, is the most obvious choice, and that's going to be like working with what's available to you. I've created these lovely, lovely color palettes, and there's five of them now. And we have the Jewel Tone, the Tropical, Primary Pack, and two Fall Collections. And they're already coordinated in lovely color palettes. So you know any of the pins in this Jewel Selection Pack, they're gonna look wonderful together. But if you're like me, you've got all your pins dumped in this lovely big old pouch, and it's a little bit hard to remember exactly what packs they came from. So I'm gonna be sharing today how I create color palettes when all my pins are kind of jumbled up. The first thing I do is look at the tips. Uh, the, the ink color is going to coordinate with the, with the tip color. And I put a lot of thought into whether I'm looking for a cool color palette, a warm color palette, or a mix of both. Because we're getting into the winter months, I'm gonna go ahead and start thinking about a cool color palette. What I always like to do is make sure there's plenty of contrast. And by contrast, I mean there's going to be some light colors and some dark colors. Another important step is to think about how many pins you actually want to be using. Do I want this color palette to be uh, just three pins or do I want this color palette to include six colors? So really look at the kind of art that you're creating and decide how many pins you're going to be, want to be working with. If you're just starting out, a really good option is to go with a monochromatic color palette. And a monochromatic color palette means that they're all going to be the same shade. So for example, I've got the same shades of blue here, but they're a little bit different tints and a little bit different lightness and darkness. I always suggest contrast when choosing a color palette, meaning you want something that's really dark, you want something that's really light, and then you want a few that are there in the middle. So let's go ahead and test this out in the notebook and see what it looks like. The best thing about the bullet journal is you've got some pre dawn squares here. So it's not hard to make a perfect square or somewhat perfect. I think that looks really nice and if you're only needing three colors I think um, going with monochromatic is a really nice way to achieve that but still giving enough contrast that it's interesting to the eye. But if you want to do something that's a little bit different than working with monochromatic colors the next good step is going to be working with complementary colors. And complementary colors are just colors that are opposite of each other on the color wheel. For example the opposite of orange is going to be blue. So we could have primary colors orange and blue, and those are colors that always look nice together. But if you wanted to get a little bit different, um, we've got different shades and different tints of blue, and we can add different shades and different tints of orange as well. A really good color to add in this mix would be a peach, which is just a lighter orange. And so we can kind of add this to the end and see what it looks like. Remember to shake your paint pens before each use. By the way, let me know in the comments um, with a simple either yes or no, do you create pin swatches in your bullet journal? 
I used to have a hard time doing that because I was afraid of like wasting a page, but then I realized like how much, how helpful it is to actually have um, pin swatches to look at because you can't always tell from looking at the lids. I think that looks really nice and particularly with this uh, navy or indigo. And the reason I'm feeling that way is because this one's really dark and this one's really light. So it's adding that great contrast. Another color palette you can choose is going to be split complementary. So if you have blue and orange that are opposite of each other on the color wheel, you wouldn't be um, you wouldn't be choosing the blue and the orange, but you would be choosing the colors that are right next to the orange. So that would be more of a yellow and more of a red. So we would be working with like a blue and a red and a yellow. And of course, like primary colors, you might think, oh yeah, that doesn't necessarily sound interesting. But when you start playing around with like tints and shades, you can you can get it looking really good. And a good example of that is um, pink, which is just a lighter shade of red and maybe um, a dusty yellow and then working with that dark blue. This would be called a split complementary color palette and I'll show you how it looks. I think we could even take this one step further and add another color and using a color that's next to blue on the color wheel, we could go with a green. A green would be a really lovely addition to this. And another step I would say after this is just have a little bit of fun and experiment. If you dedicate one page to creating color palettes, it's a really good idea. You don't have to necessarily use any formulas. You can kind of look at the colors you think might be a good match and te test them out and see, and see what it looks like to you. Um, after looking at this, I think maybe this yellow is a little bit too dusty and I'd like to try something a little bit brighter. So these color palettes, um, you know, looks good to me in the pin, but let's, let's put it on paper and see what it looks like. I think because as we all know, sometimes ink comes out a little bit different than the cap. I like this a bit more and I think it's because we've got a lot of contrast now going on. Um, the yellow is a little bit too uh, dark here for me and I think adding a lighter yellow just really helps add a more visual interest to this color palette. So now you know the steps that I take to create some fun pin swatches and I also gave you a few good ones to start with. But if you're feeling stuck, I've got a simple printable for your bullet journal and you can print that out and start using it immediately. If you just want to head below into the, uh, into the description, you can grab that free printable. And I will say, if you haven't seen our Club ANO site, it, I highly recommend that you get to know a little bit more about it. There is just a bunch of exclusive content created by our design team, and that is just there to specifically help and inspire you on your creative journey. And I do want to say thank you so much for joining us today. And if you enjoyed this really quick tutorial, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I have included some videos at the end that I think you might enjoy watching too. And do remember to follow us at, on Instagram at archerandolive.com. And we also have an account that is Archer and Olive uh, Community for more updates and content from the amazing design team. Thanks, everybody.